Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Battle Chasers Night War. Alright, so we need to head... Uh... Oh, far away. Um, I don't know where it's actually telling me that we need to go. We're, we're, we're gonna go. There is also one thing we're going to do. Well, at least one thing. Probably more than one. First we're gonna get into a fight with this gnarly purple slime, but I've got some side quests to do, and we're going to go do those, because that's going to be fun. So, once this battle takes forever to load, we, we, can, we can make our way there. Two gnarly purple slimes. Rotting slimes. Alright, um, it, it really, really doesn't matter. We're, we, we can just do damage. That's, that's all we need to do. Just die and one left. You're gonna attack, poison me, sure, whatever. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of that because I don't want poison. That'll actually do far more damage than I, I really want. But this should, oh no, still alive. And, okay, sure, why? Why? Just go away. There we go. You're, you're dead. How you are even surviving in the rain anyway raises questions. Like... Alright, get that. And we are going to blink. We are going to blink down here to the Rushlands. Because we've got a bunch of flint, and we started this at one point, and then couldn't do anything about it. And some deep crystal, faint condensed mana. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm actually going to use this. Regenerate health and combat. That will make... Really? You're... You're strong enough? Really? Okay, fine. This will just give me a chance to build up more more burst. There we go. I, I, I just want to go kill someone important. Can we do that? Is it is it that difficult to for me to kill important people? Um, yeah, it apparently is. It, it's apparently really difficult for me to kill important people. So... Yeah, let's just take this opportunity to one-hit kill a bat, and done. Not enough to hit level 3 burst before we hit the dungeon. We're going to go back and deal with all of the torches, and we're going to get into a fight with a really fun fire element. Balefire Cavern. As I said, we were here once. We were able to, to light some torches, but we didn't have enough flint to do all of it. Hopefully we don't have to relight them, because I don't know if I have enough flint to do all of them, but... Actually, I, I probably do. I got a lot of flint when I was power leveling. Alright. So, yeah, this place looks happy. Oh, no, we don't. We... It, it already has... It already says this. We're gonna just wander around... How many of these did I actually light? I light... I lit a few of them up, apparently. Alright, well, let's do that. And then... Oh, three... There were only three left. Okay. And now... The embers in the in inner circle ignite. So we're going to go down there. We're going to investigate that. And we're going to get into a fight. And that's okay. At this point, I should be able to handle handle him. I would hope I can handle him. <laughs> this pedestal burns with pure, brilliant flame. The base of it reads, the Ember Lord judges only a trial by fire. Call out to the Ember Lord. 
Who has awoken me from my slumber? The fire will embrace you. Okay. Fire Lord Resolve. So... He's not nearly as dangerous as he once was, because he's only level 10. So... This will actually probably put a huge world of hurt. Or almost kill him. There we go. That... And we get the Fire Lord's Ember, Obsidian Shard. I thought we got more from that, but I guess not. I guess it's elsewhere. Yeah. It is elsewhere. So we get to go open a chest now. So we're going to go do that. And then the Fire Lord's Ember basically replaces Flint. Amulet of Combustion and an Inferno Prism. Uh, let's see. Amulet of Combustion bestows will with great power. Basically just evade. Not anything that we need at the moment. Inferno Prism. Not any better than what we've currently got on anyone. That would be good for evade, and that's slightly better bonus damage than the Mithril Fox figure, but... Actually, the reinforced bone chain. Higher level reinforced bone chain. We'll put that on you. And that lowers your attack power. And that lowers your attack power. Let's put that on you. There we go. I like, I like that. And there's really nothing else that I've got equipment-wise that's worth switching out at the moment. But we can come up here now. And there... Is this the altar? Yes. From the heart of the mountain, the spark that made the world chill, light the mighty forge, bend fire, bend steel, bend the ties that bind, mortal magic, forget the tools of peace, Forge the tools of, or forge the tools of peace. Forge the tools of death. Let the tools of men bring their fate. So there is an altar. Light the bickering, or the bickering requires fire lord timber. So now we can add inner flame, which increases crit rating by 140 onto our armor, or Smell Slam, which has 10% chance when attacking to ignite an enemy with each hit. So, the crit damage is just spectacular. And I'm I'm going to abuse the hell out of this and we're going to we're going to increase the crit chance by a lot. Yeah, that, that, that works. We're going to make it a blue level crit chance. I'm okay with that. And crit of 140. So, yeah. So now we can just kind of do this whenever we want. We can come back here and add crit to everything. And believe me, I'm going to be doing that, especially for Garrison, because one of his best builds is really focusing around crit damage. That's really one of the best things that you can do for him. He can get some serious, serious crit. And then we also have this, which nothing happens yet, so there's something else that we can do here that I have not been able to, uh, to determine. So I have to do some more research on that. But this is something that I did in my PS4 save like forever ago, but I wanted to do it here. But we ran out of flint. Because I kept trying to use flint in other dungeons because derp. So. And the next place we're going to go is to the north. Well, 
northeast. Because there is an NPC we have yet to meet. And he is actually quite useful because he will deal with shadow coins. Which is super helpful. Because that's one thing I haven't actually started messing around with is shadow coins. Like, they allow us to buy some really neat equipment. They buy, allow us to buy some alternate skins for each character. Skins that I'm not going to futz around with, really, because I don't like the extra skins, personally, but... Yeah. Then there's some other equipment that is just fantastic. And holy crap, there's a lot of stuff over here. And I'm going the exact wrong way, but it's fine. So we want to come up here. I shouldn't get into a fight with any of these guys. I should be okay. And up here, there's a little place. Fishmonger's Wharf. This is, I think, the last NPC we get to encounter that will allow us to shop or any of that nonsense so fishmonger's wharf there's a place to fish here there's a treasure chest and a tackle box it gives us a tasty worm coast watchers treasure map the treasure maps i think are what allow us to find the treasure on the 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 overworld map like the all the bridges and whatnot in dead watch All right, come over here. You know I'm busy. This is the fishmonger. He is a shark man. Don't worry, chum. I don't bite most people. Just your average fisherman. Besides, right, average. What's your name? Not that important. Truth be told, just call me fishmonger. So you fish and are a fish. Who doesn't? You seem the lot for it, too, if my eye's right. Since it's always right, do allow me to continue. Make a catch, bring it here. Always right, hungry for fish, it turns out. Keeps me in a better mood, stand fed. Promise to make it worth your while. In exchange for what? Coins of the special kind. I'm sure you've got use for them. And when you're ready for some new angling gear... Look who it is. Alright, so we can what sell fish do I have do I have any fish where would it be it would be under be under it wouldn't be under medicines it wouldn't be under items I guess it'd be under materials um I could have swore that I fished up some things before, but I guess I didn't. Seems like not. No, I don't want to. I don't want to sell my tasty worm. I just got that. Look who it is! Come back. But yeah, so you sell stuff to him. He gives you shadow coins. Then you can go back to harm's way to deal with the collector who only sells items in shadow coins and that's actually where I'm going to head back to now because I believe I need to talk to the training lady to see I think I can open up hunts now or I call them hunts because that's what Final Fantasy 12 called them that's basically the same thing it's bounties it's the you know hey go track down this person and you you get something special from me in addition to, you know, killing him. So, yeah, you know, like you do. Smacking my headset. All right. Come on. Load. There we go. And, hey, more stuff on the overworld map. I do like getting materials. All right, so we're going to go back to Harm's Way. And so yeah, the shadow, or the collector who deals with shadow coins, 
coins is this guy. Secrets. Secrets. And so, like, you can buy overcharged cannon, cut purse pistols, bloody blade. Ooh, that's or booty blade. Ooh, <laughs> kinky. Um, so lots of really interesting equipment. Chain of Sundering. But as you can see, like the prices are relatively low, but because it's only in shadow coins. And then you can also just buy treasure chests. Like, you can buy treasure chests, you can buy tomes of knowledge, special fishing equipment, and these are the extra things. Alternate appearance for Alamon, once unlocked, you can change the appearance. That's the Harbringer. Dark Lady is for Red Monica. Calbretto, uh, or Gullibretto, you can turn Gully into a mini Calbretto. Garrison turns into Brass Demure, who was a character in the comics that he was the first person Garrison defeated in the comic. And, uh, really entertaining fight. Iron Savior, alternate skin for Calbretto. And Necro Nolan. And then. You can buy a fairly dignified top hat, or you can buy music. So, yeah. Secrets, secrets. And that's all he says is secrets. He does kind of creep me out a little bit. And we can go, we can go here. Sun on the blade. All right, so we can't train. There's no time to think about it, not when the station is high. You're ready for more, and here it is. Welcome. Oh, so we we got Gully's ultimate burst. Monica, master Oh, so we can get everyone's level three burst now. I like the sound of that. I have a few tricks I can teach you. Try this one. Sun on the blade. So we got Monica's ultimate burst. I see your magic is peculiar. Sure, our means are different, but I know a warrior when I see one. Stop him, then let's talk. I can help you. The ancient war golem, one of your kind is sealed in the moors. He's a lot less peaceful. I tear him down and I can make you even greater defender of the peace. Gerson, have you tried your hand at the arena? If you're looking to improve, that's the place. The Enchantress can help better than I can, Nolan. Check with her. Greetings, warriors. Alright, so I have to do those side quests before I can get their abilities. So, and now we have Hunts as well. Trial by Fire, we just did that one. Deep in the Mire, Voice from Below, Watcher of Graves, Destructive Duo, Ancient Weapon. So, Greetings, warriors. A lot of those. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade. Just, you know, let everyone upgrade. So let's take a look real quick. It's, um... Have by turn. Let's see. Uh, can I look at their stats here? Doesn't look like it. So we'll we'll switch them out for now. So that I can take a look at their new level 3 burst. Because I'm really curious as to what we got for them. And since, you know, uh, the there is a level cap to this game. The level cap is, I believe, 30? Hungry? So... Be well. Whoop. Not the right button. That's the right button. All right. Combat abilities. Might of Aramis unleashes the full power of Aramis's gauntlets, dealing 707 piercing damage to an enemy over many hits. Ow. That hurts. Um, I also don't think I looked at Cripple. Deals 221 damage and weak and weakens an enemy, reducing their attack power for 15% for two actions. Not bad, Gully. Mantle of Aramis, damage shield that absorbs 186 damage, and she will be healed for 18 health whenever she is attacked. So, 
Monica. Exploit weakness deals 212 damage to an enemy if the target is bleeding, poisoned, sundered. Will spread a 119 damage bleed to other enemies. Deal 35 damage per stack of poison will be or will be guaranteed a hit or crit. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. And distracting shot. Draws next attack to Red Monica. Okay. Love Bomb deals 168 damage to all enemies and applies Poison, Bleed, Sunder, Ignite, Chill, and Arcane Sickness debuffs on them, dealing 372 damage over 3 turns, lowering their haste by 10% for 3 turns, and... I, there's more to... There, and increasing their damage taken. Ow! Love Bomb hurts! <laughs> that hurts a lot! <laughs> Oh, Monica, you might just become my favorite. <laughs> oh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because I'm about out of time. I'm going to look into what else I can do if I can go after the the other level three bursts for characters and uh, what else, where I want to go from here because now things are starting to open up a little bit. So, yeah, I will see you all in the next installment. So till then, later, everyone.